Hello. So today I'm going to show you how to make an ST, a mesh in a VG Studio Max 2.1 and in VG Studio Max um, 3.4. So I'm going to assume that you know what a mesh is. So it's like a, a surface. Uh, and basically, when you look at city data, um, the way it works is you need to tell the software uh, where in the histogram you have to make the cut between what is the surface of the object and what is the background, basically. So the, when you are in the rendering setting and you look at the ISO surface renderer, so the ISO surface is already giving you an insight of what you can create. So in my histogram, I have a big bit here, which would be my background. Then I have a little bump here, which is probably the tube that I had. So you can see that, for example, here, there is a bit of tube that I used to scan the bone. So if I do that, it's visible. If I put it here, it's invisible. But the problem is on the bone I'm working with, there are some plaster parts and I want to keep that. So I'm going to have to be somewhere there. So in VG Studio Max 2.1, there is a window uh, called, called surface extraction. And basically, so you have a, so you have a preset. Um, I'm not a big fan of the simplification they do in PGCU Max, so I like to do it normal. And so you can use the determined surface or you can use the gray value. The gray value by default is going to be the value, the position of the ISO surface, if you are in ISO surface render or mode. Um, but as you see, so we have some insight of in the 3D view uh, of what it does, but it's not super clear. What I want to use is this one, the surface determination, because it's going to show me on the fly what is going to happen uh, on the slices. Um, so I can, you can just do the same, uh, move the, the ISO surface and see what it does. But if you want to get something more um, accurate maybe, or more defined by the software rather than by UI, uh, you can choose define material by area and it tells you first defined by the background. So you uh, select the background, then you click on next. Then you get a large portion of the bone, something like that. Finish. And it tells me that the material is about there, the background is there, and it's putting the ISO surface in the middle. And you can still move it if you're not happy with what is done. You can choose the automatic version, which will be based on the shape of the histogram. So it's very similar to what we've done here. But yes, uh, as I say, I want that part. So I probably want something like that. So if I click on finish, he's gonna, uh, I cannot move anymore the ISO surface here. If I want to move it, I need to remove the surface determination. And as you see on the, or two slices, you see a white line that tells you where the surface is going to be processed. So if I do that, uh, if I go back here and use surface determination, um, I usually don't change any of this. And if I click on calculate place in scene, it's going to do it as I see it. But the problem is it's going to do the border of my tube as well. And I don't want that. So to remedy this problem, you need to do a bit of segmentation. So I've done that earlier. I did a region of interest of just the bone. So I can show you if I go to the volume, transparency, set it to zero, and go to my region, enable the render, reset the transparency. Now it's really just my bone. I have actually increased the 
So when I did my region of interest, I expanded it. So it has a bit of the background. Not a lot, but I just really just one uh, pixel. Um, could actually do an opening closing to get rid of this kind of holes. It's not very important. It's just going to make my uh, STL larger for no reason because I'm not going to use this information. So this is done. So I have my bone uh, segmented and I can extract it. So now it's going to act uh, as um, a different volume and I can uncheck this when this is a pair you can see. So I haven't checked that and so I only see the extracted vo uh, volume and now I can repeat. So the big background has disappeared. Um, it's going to be difficult to do the, let's see, yeah, it's not the automatic, it's not working very well. Um, the defined by area is not going to work very well because I have very little background. So I'm going to put the background all the way to the but to the left, and I'm going to put the material actually somewhere here. Let me just do the trick so you can check what it does. Um, see, thing like that. Uh, let's see where I had some plaster. I will start again. There. So I want to be sure that it's not creating holes here because if I do that, so you see the isosurface is set between the two, and I won't, don't want that. So I want, yeah, probably something like this. This is fine. So finish. And if I go to surface extraction, use the determined surface, and click on calculate, it's going to generate the surface based on that. It's going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause uh, VG Studio Max 2.1, and we can I can show you on VG Studio Max 3.4 uh, how to do it because it's slightly different. So this one is a lot easier because I don't have a tube, um, so I can directly do my surface extraction. The histogram is a bit different because the default here is a log. So the background is really set to zero in that case. Um, so you can use whatever the one that you like. Uh, I think the automatic mode is doing a decent job, but I'm still going to, oh yes, so the values are very different because I've loaded the data set in 8 bits earlier. So there you go. So if, as you see, like when uh, when I move it, it's not showing me what it does. And if I just do a control, and if I start scrolling, it's refreshing the, the view. So I think it's doing a good job. So finish. It's going to go the same. Like I can't move that anymore. And this time, I don't have a surface extraction. Even if you go to tools, there is no surface extraction. This time, you have to go to object, convert, surface mesh. It's basically the same information, but a lot more complex. So you have the same settings, the uh, fast, super fast, blah, 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 normal with simplification. But in this version of VG Studio Max, the one I like the best is grid-based, precise, and watertight. It makes a very large mesh, but it, I prefer to simplify it in Blender, actually, it, uh, where I think Blender is doing a better job at simplifying the, the mesh. Otherwise, it's worth the same. Uh, determine surface or grade value, it's up to you. Um, so it's going to be grid-based. I don't want any simplification, but you could select simplification either by preset or with manual, saying I don't want more than uh, 100,000 triangle, for instance. But again, I'm, I don't want to use that. But if you want to do the simplification, if the file is a bit too big, you, you can try that sort of thing. Uh, I've never used colorized mesh. That's not really uh, what I want. I prefer to place the thing in the scene, the, the mesh in the scene, rather than export it directly, uh, just because I like to see what it looks like before saving the file. Uh, you can also name your file before creating the, the mesh. So my mesh. 
very original and convert. And it's very quick with the, because it's a very small file as well and because it's the um, read based water flight. So place mesh in scene. Yes, please. And then if I uncheck my volume, I have my mesh. So if I lock the padlock here, unlock this one, then I can move it. Um, and if I'm happy, I don't see any error. So the a mesh has a external and exter, uh, external and inner surface. Um, you can see. I don't think it's telling me that here, but anyway. So here in the rendering in solid, you can change the color. Let's say I want something that looks like a bone. So, and I can, if I'm happy with the result, I can export file, export surface mesh, and save my mesh three. Remember that it's uh, it to max three. Save. Uh, I keep the coordinate system so it remembers where it is in 3D and the orientation and everything. And I keep the millimeter organization. And OK. Uh, this is to do you want to link the mesh with the mesh object to the file? Yes, why not? Um, I haven't shown you that, but you can export in different formats. So the default is STL, but you could do uh, OBJ or PLY, or even a text file. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so now I have done my mesh. Uh, if I go back to VG2.2.1, not even finished, Let's back to VG Studio Max 2.1, so I have skipped all the calculations, so you, you would not have to wait. Um, same thing as the other one. I can go to the top, uncheck the main volume, so I can see the mesh. So I can see the, just that. So you can see some um, yellow dots or yellow parts. It's where the surface is inverted. So the yellow surface is the inner one and the blue one is the outside one. So there, is, there are some errors. But this can be fixed easily in a Blender or Mesh Lab. So if we wait for all this to disappear, so I click on the, um, Surface, again, uh, you can change the color. Uh, there is a polygon rendering in this one. So you go to material, and here you can change the color. More more like uh, the light that is shining onto the object rather than the light of the object itself. But there you go. So you can experiment with that and see how it looks. Very important to remember that this is not um, color attached to the, the volume. So you can even, so here you can uh, invert, choose the color of the back face to the inside. Put it in red to make it more obvious. I don't know. But yeah, so if you're happy with that, uh, you can do file, export, polygon, and it's the same, so you have a variety of formats. Uh, I like STL, so I'm going to skip this one. There you go. So it's going to save it like this. And if we take a look at, so it's again like a relatively large file, but again, I prefer to uh, simplify it somewhere else. But that's not the point of that video. That's really uh, how I make my mesh. And if you want to know how I simplify my mesh, I, have, uh, I will make another tutorial uh, on, on how I do that with, uh, with Blender. All right. Thank you for listening.